Hello, this is 2019 financial statement analysis first paper by Chandy A. Mm, so question number two, draft the report. Uh, Body PLC is a building material manufacturing company that is listed in the Colombo Stock Exchange. The income statement and statement of financial position for the financial year 2018 and 19 are available below for your review. This is the profit and loss statement and uh, financial position of uh, statement of financial position. Here they ask you are required to draft a report to the company board of directors evaluating the financial performance and position of body PLC as uh, portrayed by the above financial statement. Your analysis should be supported by profitability liquidity uh, utilization during an investment uh, ratios you need to provide the calculation under each category separately so uh, let's do it uh, first in uh, profitability we're going to find uh, profit trust profit margin in here we enter are the years 2019 and 2018 how do we get uh, how do we find the gross profit margin uh, gross profit divided by revenue uh, into 100 in here uh, 2019 gross profit is uh, 35,200 divided by revenue uh, 84,800 into 100 it is 41.51 percent in 2019 like same in 2018 uh, yeah gross profit 2022,400 20, divided by revenue uh, 55,200 into 100 it is 40.58% likewise uh, next we find we are going to find net profit margin like like trust profit margin uh, net profit margin how do we get uh, net profit divided by revenue into 100 like 2019 uh, it is here uh, profit for the year it is not profit uh, 12,160 divided by revenue uh, 84,800 into 100 it is 14.34 in 2019 like same in 2018 uh, next ROCE ROCE how do we get the ROCE uh, kind of capital equity uh, EBIT mean earning before interest and tax earn before interest and tax divided by capital employed how do we get the capital employed capital, capital employed we get total assets the total assets minus current liability how do we get the capital employed total assets divide uh, minus capital liability sorry current liability uh, and here 2019 the earning before interest and the tax interest earning before interest and tax I uh, here profit before interest and tax it is 19,840 19,840 divided by capital employed in here capital employed total assets 2019 uh, total assets total assets this 74,960 in here 2019 total assets 
74,960 uh, minus current liability Here, current liability is 15,520. So, into 100, it is 33,038 present. Into like same in 2018. Next, uh, liquidity. How do we get the liquidity? Un uh, under liquidity, First, we are going to calculate current ratio. How do we get the current ratio? Uh, current assets divided by current liability. Current assets divided by current liability. We can get the current ratio. In here, 2019, current ratio, uh, current assets, current assets of 2019. Here, uh, 20,000 divided by current liability. Here, 15,520. It is five, uh, 1 1.29 in 2019. Next, quick assist ratio. Quick assist ratio. Here, current assets minus inventory divided by current liability how do we get the quick assets ratio current assets minus inventory divided by current liability in case 2019 uh, current assets here 20,000 minus inventory is 10,560 within bracket uh, divided by uh, current liability 15,520 in, in uh, 2019 point six one next uh, assets utilization under asset utilization first we going to find inventory turn over ratio inventory turn turn over ratio cos how do we get the cos cos mean cost of sales so cost of sales here uh, 49600 inventory in financial position 10,560 the uh, cost of sales divided by inventory here for 4.70 4 in 2019 like same in 2018 right uh, next uh, debt turn over debt on debt turn over ratio so credit sales divided by debtors okay. yeah debt uh, uh, credit sales uh, in here we get the old sale it is 84,800 because they don't mention if it is credit basis or cash basis right 
uh, yeah uh, here revenue it is say sale, credit sales it is uh, 84,800 divided by uh, debtors so debtor account here yeah, trade uh, trade receivable 9440 so 8 uh, 84800 divided by 9440 it is 8.98 in 2019 like same 2018 uh, uh, next we're going to find credit turnover ratio here yeah, credit purchase divided by creditors here yeah. It is 4, 49,600 divided by uh, creditors here. Run liability trade, trade payables 11,920. So uh, 4.16 in 2019. Uh, next, gearing ratio. How do we get the gearing? Under gearing ratio, debt to equity, the total debt divided by equity. In here, first on 2019, and uh, 23,680 in financial obligation plus is non current liability plus uh, financial lease obligation 1440. We need to uh, some uh, plus sum of financial lease application and uh, uh, finance lease obligation financial lease obligation uh, amount and non-current liability so divided by equity 35,760 this equity here 35,760 next uh, under the ratio we're going to find interest cover so how do we get the interest cover profit before interest and interest and tax divided by finances finance cost so profit before interest and tax here and uh, divided by finance cost it is uh, 2160 it is 9.19 uh, in, in investment EPS and uh, in per share how do we find the in per share uh, profit after tax divided by number of share here uh, profit after tax it is uh, in 2019 it is uh, 12,160 divided by uh, how do we find the number of share in here the number of share and they give us the 24,000 value of number uh, shares so uh, equity shares each 10 rupees so uh, one unit price is 10 rupees so 25,000 and we can get the num how find the number of share the value divided by uh, price per unit in here 24,000 uh, divided by 10 it is 2,400 number of share here uh, and per share in 2019 uh, profit after 12, 12,160 divided by uh, 2,400 it is 5.07 uh, so this is the answer of 2019 question number two thank you